Okay, so we're just ready to cook here. Let's make sure we got everything. We got the eggs. We got some yogurt for, with fruit for afterwards, toast, butter, and we always start with the bacon first. Where's the bacon? None. No bacon. Okay, uh, sausage. Do we got sausage? No. N no pork products at all? Ham? No. Uh, okay, here's where we get creative, and we're going to make sausage with no pork. Welcome to Real Easy Cooking with Robert. I'm Robert. Ed. And today we're going to make mock breakfast sausage or artificial breakfast sausage with no pork in it. Sometimes you can't get pork because of political reasons, uh, humanitarian reasons, economic reasons because of sanctions and stuff and wars or, or religious reasons. Some people can't eat pork for religious reasons. So I found a way to make an artificial pork sausage so that's great for breakfast so let me clear this all up and we'll start that in just a minute because once again you always cook your breakfast sausage before you cook your eggs and toast and everything else okay so for this artificial sausage what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, some hamburger not a full pound of it this is old number 49 if you guys remember the video about our hamburger This is just so y'all can see it is actually just a chunk of ground beef and a tube. Nothing super special. And we're not taking all of it, we're just gonna take a chunk of it. It depends on how much sausage you want. Yeah. That's a lot of sausage. <laughs> we'll do it like that. We'll spread it out just a little bit. Now, the trick is how we season it. So we're going to put this is sage. It's not what else it may be confused with. This is actually sage. And we spread that out a little bit. And then we add one of my favorite spices, yellow. I'm not going to let you all see it yet. You should know what it is by now. Push down on there real good. You could also use a rolling pin if you wanted to mush it out, you're just trying to mush it thin, like that, and then you fold it, and fold it again, so you have folded four times into a quarter, and that's just the way that you can knead your hamburger and mush it around without getting your hands all mushy in it. Now, when we fold it back out, what we do again is we repeat. We put some more sage down again. I hate this little can. And it takes a lot of sage. A little bit of, you know what this is then? Yellow. Yeah, what, what spice is this? Turmeric. Now this time, we're going to add some black pepper to it. And a little bit of salt. Can I do some salt? Yep. That's good, that's good. I'm going to spread that out. Reason, the breakfast sausage is usually a salt and pepper based sausage. Adding all of the sage makes the hamburger taste more like sausage. Adding a little bit of turmeric adds more of an earthy solid flavor that sausage has that hamburger does not. 
And once again, we fold it in half, we fold it in half. Now this time, instead of just mushing it flat, I'm going to shape it into whatever size or how many breakfast patties I would want. That would make one really big breakfast patty, wouldn't it? Should we make one really big one or two smaller ones? Let's make two smaller ones. Now the trick when making patties is to crimp the edges in and down a little bit in the center. Creates a little bit of a divot. That helps it cook and maintain its shape so it doesn't curl or turn all funky. Here's your favorite word, Ed, funky. Hear that make it smile. Okay. There's my two artificial sausage. We take a pan, we put a liberal amount of oil in it. More than you would put for hamburger because it is supposed to be pork and pork is greasy. Heat it up. Now I don't know what actual cultures that have religious bans against pork, what they've over the years made for substitutes, same as what hippies may eat, you know. That's their substitute, you know. There's probably some soy burger that's a substitute for pork also. Soy and a whole bunch of processed chemicals. This we know what's in it. Put that on a medium heat and we let that cook. When that cooks, I'm gonna wrap up the rest of the hamburger and start my toast soon. You see how the cooking's kind of slowed down a bit? That means it's time to flip them over. So you can tell by the frying sound. The frying went from a sizzling to it slowed down quite a bit. It means that it's starting to run out of water, which means that it's starting to be fully cooked. Like I say, we're cooking in a lot more oil than you would for just normal hamburgers. But that's because we're trying to make a bacon, you know, pork flavored. Now's a good time to start your toast because you, the first thing you always make when you're making an egg breakfast is a toast. Because a toast takes longer to make than it does to cook eggs. Eggs cook really fast. That's all I wanted to show you on that part. Now we just watch these finish cooking. I'll flip them a few more times till they get browned properly, and then we'll be ready. I'm gonna get the screen so I don't splatter everywhere. Saver, which means you can't see anything now. See? Okay, these sound done. Like I said, you can tell by the sound how things are doing, and they look like. Little sausage patties now, see? Good? Yep. So, they so take do. Take those off the plate. Put those on the plate too. They're sitting there. Time to cook my eggs now. You mean all eggs? Oh, you gonna eat some eggs with me? We 
a good broken one you like. It's not broken. I call that yolk broken so the egg is not running. Oh, they suck the shells on this one. When you do happen to get shell in, just pick it off right away. Those eggs cook. You want to be sure you add some salt and pepper to them. And then you turn them off right away. What most people don't realize is eggs keep cooking even when they're on the plate. So we got that, we got my toast. I want to have some yogurt with some mulberries in it that we picked from outside and some raspberries off our raspberry bush. No, why are you count? I'm just going to put them all in. Yeah, it's almost more berries than yogurt. Turn into like a parfait at that point. And that's how yogurt should look, full of berries. Dannon with their fruit on the bottom. Oh, I do. I do yogurt with my fruit. All berries. All right, let's get some forks and try the sausage. Stabby, stabby, stabby. I want to give it time to cool down. Try it. Cool. Oh, it does. It tastes like sausage. Uh, hot. But it does taste like sausage. It tastes like an incredible amount like sausage. And all it is is hamburger with some flavoring. A little extra grease in the pan to give it more of that like sausage has. Mm. And I got a breakfast that's maybe a little bit healthier. Alright, let's... It's been real easy cooking with Robert, and we're done! done.